the pinhole camera. It turns out you can form an image on film without any lenses or mirrors at all. Here's the trick. You have a box with film. You have an object you want to take a picture of. What you do is you almost completely enclose it and you leave a tiny pinhole. So a small amount of light is coming through the pinhole and assume it's something not moving so you can do a time exposure and get a good get enough light to see. What's going to happen? Well, if the hole is big, such that we don't have to worry about diffraction, the problem is going to be light from the arrow tip is going to pass through the hole and make a circle on the film. If we make the hole smaller, that circle will get smaller. But eventually, if we make the hole too small, the circle will start getting wider again by diffraction. So we could try to figure out what's the smallest size, what's the optimum size for a pinhole. But I also want to talk about the other optical properties because this is a little weird. We don't have any lenses. What's the focal length of this pinhole camera? Well, it turns out it depends on the object because if we count DO, as the distance of the object from the pinhole. And we count di as the image front to back of the camera, as the distance. For a given do and di, 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di. So for a given location, this camera has an effective focal length. And the magnification is just by similar triangles, negative di over do just as always. Now, because this distance is much larger than this one, uh, this isn't going to widen out very much as it goes. So this hole is going to be, this circle is going to be almost the same size as the hole. So we can make the circle smaller and smaller. Uh, and if the circle isn't tiny enough, I mean, you're going to get sort of a blurred image like this. Right, that, you're going to have this sort of blurry image. Uh, this idea is called the camera obscura. It was around Leonardo da Vinci used it. Uh, there's a cool one in Edinburgh, if you ever go there. Uh, the very, very top, the highest spot in Edinburgh. They have one of these, and you can see all the countryside laid out in front of you. So we could make this hole smaller. Now, eventually, we're going to hit a point where diffraction plays a role. So if I say big D is the diameter of the opening, we get uh, the angle for the diffraction, right? The sort of minimum angle you can see is typically 1.22 lambda over D. So how are we going to optimize this? Theta min is 1.22 lambda over d. And the size of the diffraction central maximum is going to be theta min times di, right? Like it's an arc of a circle, uh, times 2, because we want sort of the angular diameter. So 2 theta min di would be 2 times 1.22 lambda over d times di. And we would like this to be small. So of course, we could try to use a shorter wavelength, but we want to use visible light. So we can't go any shorter than 400. So let's actually say 500 nanometers. Uh, the size of the pinhole is what we're choosing. Di, we could say, is, oh, I don't know, 5 or 10 centimeters, the depth of the camera. Um, and we would like this to be small, but it's not going to be any smaller than the hole itself, certainly. So which is going to be bigger? Um, the borderline case would be where the size of the diffraction maximum is the same as the size of the hole. Because if you use a great big hole, you're going to have great big circles of light, 
which are effectively the same size as the diameter of the hole. And that's not really what we want. We'll get a super blurry image, and we won't be able to see much of anything. So we could actually solve for the optimum. We would like the hole to be smaller and smaller and smaller, but not so small that it starts widening out from diffraction again. So we would have 2 times 1.22 times 500 times 10 to the negative 9 meters times, oh, let's call it 5 centimeters, 0.05 meters, uh, is equal to d squared. So it turns out that if we solve this for d, the optimum is about 2.5 times 10 to the negative 4 meters, or 0 0.25 millimeters. That is the optimum diameter of the pinhole.